Hello everybody, it's me. Um, it's currently Sunday the 17th of October. It's nearly 10 past 4. Uh, I'm having a productive day mostly, doing some housework, doing, you know, putting shelves up and things like that. Um, I'm catching up with um, my filming as well and a little bit of reading ahead of getting back to the grind tomorrow. So. That's where I'm at. I'm currently reading uh, Carving a Statue by Graham Greene, which is a play. I'm enjoying it. Um, would like to go and see it performed, as with pretty much every play I ever read. Uh, and then after that, I've got the lyrics of Leonard Cohen to finish off, and then I don't know what I'm going to read next. We'll see. See what I'm in the mood for. Got some choices, so that's good. Dane reads. Dinner is served. Look at that. That looks delicious. Homemade onion salad. Uh, Store-bought mango chutney. Rice. Curry, poppadoms, biggie. Hello, it is vlog time. It is currently five to 10 in the evening on Thursday, the 21st of October. I'm pretty tired today, not gonna lie, but I've managed to have quite a productive one. Done a lot of work and stuff. Bit of filming here and there. I started work on my uh, house tour video as well because it's currently clean and tidy in here. Isn't it, Biggs? Yeah. Not so much downstairs or in the garden, but the upstairs, my office and the bedroom are both done. Let's turn the light on. So, uh, I went to the art centre earlier to take advantage of their internet to upload some videos, because I'm now at the point where I've got no more videos ready to go out. I uploaded two and one of them failed in processing, which is super annoying, so I've got tomorrow's video and then, I don't know, maybe I'll go to the art centre again. Um, I'm still trying to get my internet sorted here, still waiting on that, it's just a bit of a ball ache. It's almost as bad as dealing with the fucking conveyances to buy this place in the first place. I'm just having a look down here, I've just done a Covid self test, I've actually just done my second because my first one was void. I find that a lot. I would say 50% give or take of them come through void. This one is still not showing any results yet, but you have to wait a while. But um, yeah, it's just annoying because it's an unpleasant process to put the tube thing up your nose and stuff. Um, and you're supposed to rub it on your tonsils and I don't have any, so I have to do it on the back of my throat where my tonsils would be. Um, so I'm basically rubbing it over scar tissue as well, which is great. But yes, um, I don't think anything major arrived in the post today, some more seeds and stuff. Um, my greenhouse outside, I did get like a plastic greenhouse and it's just a piece of shit, so I've ordered a wooden one as a replacement. Um, and I've got these big old, the same thing happened, I ordered these plastic um, like fencing things and they were shit as well, so I've ordered, a, like they literally, they, they bend, like the wind bends them. So I've ordered some wooden ones of those, they're more expensive, so I've spent about like 80 quid on fencing. I had to pay a water bill today, I heard from my old landlord so I know I'm not getting my deposit back as well. Which I mean it all adds up, like I'm just adding, having a look now actually at how my bank account's doing. Because I've been paid, um, like quite a lot, yeah and I'm still £920 overdrawn. Because again I've been paying for a lot of stuff. It is what it is and you know I'm... I've still got three and a half grand of overdraft I can go into. I just don't like being in my overdraft, you know. Plus I have a big tax bill coming in in uh, January. So hopefully, well, I'm at the point really, like let's have a look now. Do I have anything on my list of stuff to buy? No, I've got nothing that I need to buy anymore. I mean, stuff keeps coming up though. Like I bought a new toilet seat the other day and you know, it's just all this crap. It all vaguely, slowly but surely adds up. But yes, um, I finished reading Universal Harvester by John Darnell. It was a four out of five. It did lose itself. It started really interesting and then kind of lost itself in the second half, unfortunately. Um, but you know, I still enjoyed it. And I'm sure part of that is because he's the lead singer of the Mountain Goats, which is a band that I really enjoy as well. Um, so now I'm just starting reading The Wasp Factory by Ian Banks, which I'm unsure whether I'm gonna like it or not, because I have a bit of a hit and miss, well, mostly miss, to be honest, relationship with Ian Banks. This will be my, third or fourth Ian Banks book because um, people keep saying that I would like him and so far not so much I mean there's other stuff I need to cut my hair my tattoo's still healing it's itching a bit but it looks cool but yeah um, yeah I think that's about it uh, as I say it's Thursday today I'm not going out tomorrow or anything Saturday I have a gig with my band in sat Saturday daytime and then in the evening there's some live music at the art centre which I'm going to go to and then Sunday, there's the Sunday Jam at the Art Centre, which I'll probably play the new Ibanez at. So, um, 
yeah, it's going to be a fairly busy weekend uh, without a huge amount of time to do housey stuff. So I'm just trying to stay awake for as long as I can today to try and get some stuff done, to be honest. So that's where we're at. Um, might do some video editing later even. We will see. We will see how we get on, won't we? Hello, I'm on low battery, so I'll try and make this quick. It is quarter to eight on Friday the 22nd of October. Uh, my tattoo is now officially peeling. Mmm, lovely. Um, what else is new? Tidy and stuff. I've inquired about getting a cleaner in, so I'm gonna have a cleaner come over here every couple of weeks. Um, basically because if I work while they're cleaning, I make a profit, as opposed to if I were to do that cleaning myself. So, um, that's good. Uh, my band's got this gig tomorrow, so we're doing that, and then tomorrow night there's some live music at the art centre, which I was hoping to just go and enjoy, but it sounds like I'm out after work because uh, one of my colleagues isn't very well, which is all right, it happens, you know. Uh, I'm still reading The Wasp Factory by Ian Banks. It is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Um, heading for a pretty strong four out of five at the moment, which is a relief because historically people always tell me I like Banks. And then I pick up his books and I'm just a bit like, eh. Um, I had a nap earlier and I uh, had some weird nightmares and stuff, so that was no fun. Uh, and I've been out in the garden as well doing some gardening work. So that's been my day, pretty much. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and get the washing up done, or at least some of the washing up done. Oh, I made some jelly, some vegan jelly and some Rice Krispie cakes. Like, you know, when you melt chocolate and Rice Krispies and then yeah, they're really good. I had those earlier, and I had a toasty. And Biggie's back there playing with his toy, aren't you, Biggie? Bring me your toy. Yes. Hello. I don't know how my battery is doing, so we will see. It is currently um, 20 past 11 on Sunday, the 24th of October. It's been a busy old weekend. So yesterday I worked indie night at the art centre. So there were three bands. They were very good. And then today I worked at the Sunday Jam. I also played some music there, but I'm very tired. I've done like seven and a half miles today and probably about 10 yesterday. Also yesterday, uh, my band, The Ilk, we played at a pub called The Rising Sun in, um... shit, where was it? Ickford, that's it. Um, because there's a guy in my band called Dave Ford, so I said he was uh, the Ilk Ford in Ickford because I'm very puntastic. Um, so yeah, I've been keeping busy with all that. My house is a bit of a mess at the moment, to be honest. I accidentally broke the light above my bed yesterday. Hello everybody, it is me. It is Monday the 25th of October at 6pm. Uh, I did try and do an update yesterday and then my battery died, so that's that. Um, still just been doing houseworky stuff, had my counselling earlier today. My anxiety's been pretty bad, to be honest, not gonna lie, but I'm doing my best. Started alphabetizing the books downstairs because that's going to be a big old job that's going to take a while But um feels good to have at least made a start And yeah at the moment I'm just getting back to work because it's a Monday and working through all the stuff on my to-do list Been in touch with Talk Talk earlier to try and get my internet sort sorted out but still no dice Which is super annoying because it's costing me a lot of money to tether to my phone uh, what else? Yeah, um, well, I'll take you through the weekend quickly. So Saturday uh, daytime, I uh, performed a show with my band The Ilk. Saturday evening, I worked at the Art Centre for Indie Night, which was good. And then Sunday, yesterday, was the Sunday Jam at the Art Centre, so I played there and also worked the bar at that. Been reading lots, so I finished reading Wherever It's Gone, The Wasp Factory by, um, what's his name? Scottish guy. Guy. And he's dead, dead Scottish guy, Ian Banks, that's the one. Uh, so I finished reading that, that was a pretty solid 4 out of 5. The ending did let it down a bit though, because, right, spoiler alert. But basically there's a big twist at the end, which, it's that old trope of, oh actually somebody's transgender, and that's the big twist. And I just, I don't know, I, as a non, you know, transgender person, a cis white male, I feel a little bit uncomfortable with that, especially because it was written by another cis white male in like 1982 or something as well. Um, and it's almost used to explain, oh that's why they were a bad person, because they were transgender and they didn't even know about it. Their uh, dad had raised them as a boy even though they were born female. Anyway, so that ending kind of let it down a bit for me. They didn't need that ending. Um, and actually the, the rest of the ending as well in general wasn't particularly good. 
I think maybe he wrote himself into a corner and didn't know how to finish it. So it probably would have been a 4.5 without that. Um, and that, it was a, enough of a letdown that it's made it probably fall out of my top 10 books of the quarter, otherwise it would have been in there. And I don't know, there's just something about Ian Banks, man. I've read three of his books now. One of them was totally forgettable. One of them was okay. And then this one was good and then let itself down at the end. So I just don't know. But anyway, I'm now currently reading We're Not Home, a horror anthology edited by Cam Wolf of Page Nomad here on YouTube. He has a story in it. I have a story in it called Not in Tamworth Anymore. Jeremy Fee had a great story in this about Walt Whitman's ghost. That was cracking. Uh, Marie McWilliams. Uh, Marie McWilliams also has a story in this which I enjoyed um, and I can't remember whose story I'm currently reading um, but yeah it's, it's pretty good so far one of the stories um, uh, the, there was uh, I don't know how to say this without being mean but the guy doesn't know how to use apostrophes basically so so that was kind of doing my head in a bit when I was reading it I also did notice one little layout fail um, but overall it's pretty good for especially for an indie collection all the money goes to charity so there's that my fucking hand hurts. I've got this little tiny cut on it there. I know it's like little and insignificant, but it hurts. Damn it, it hurts. Um, what's next? I need to make some food in a bit. I don't know what I'm going to eat. I don't really have any food in. Maybe I'll go to the shop if I can bother. We'll see. Um, my tattoo is still healing, but it's mostly there. So it's just got a little bit on the head of the character now that needs to heal. But um, I want to... I want to post my photo of it soon because it's Halloween -y, isn't it so yeah hoping hoping that'll do I've also got a rash on my elbow which I don't know what that's from I don't know if it's from like shaving where they shaved the hairs off my arms or it might actually be the cream that I've been using um, I guess particularly my in inner elbow might be allergic to it I don't know but yes and that seems like a good place to end this week's reading vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.